Night of Destruction number one. Race number three. Season four. I, I did it a lot better the first time. I you did. You were smoother on that one. But we'll give you credit on this one because we're tried. talking we're Destruction Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, the Demolition Derby is next on tap. And folks, it is time for Celestia to take to the track. Sarah painted up this car. It looks fantastic. Too but, good, actually. But it's 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 not going to last very long. Now, Tommy, this car, uh, I believe, as far as the preparation goes, how much how much stripping was this a car that you stripped out? Uh, no, this is actually a Mike Atkinson car. It is. So that means that as far as everything that was prepared on this car, Mike Atkinson helped put this thing together. Yeah. So big thank you to Mike. Uh, Shayla's going to be out there in Scootaloo that she drove in the auto soccer. Mm -hmm. And Tommy, we're, we're feeling, I think, both of us pretty good about her car in this derby. Yeah. Because it's a it's a Camry. It's, it's a big car and it's a six cylinder. So she's got more power to work with and a bigger car. So Camrys do pretty well. She's won a demolition derby in the Camry. So we're all feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. Your car, eh, not so much. Your car, <laughs> my car is has one the, of the smaller ones. My car has a different advantage. My, but, where yeah. my car is not big, it is fast. And this Moves, car, yeah. I'm going to have to take advantage of that in this derby, which is what I'm going to try to do, is take advantage of the speed factor, see if I can get out of some gnarly situations in this demolition derby. But we'll see. Uh, I'm ready to go on this one. Shayla's ready to go. We know Johnny, Adam out there. All and the usuals. Uh, usuals and some new faces. I think uh, Jan's towing has one. Kim yep. Palmer's kid's going to be joining in. Very true. So, uh, yeah, it's demolition derby time, folks. I hope you strap into this one because I sure didn't. How much will this hurt? That is the question. All right, Celestia, you don't do much on the show, so let's, let's show them what you can do on the track. I have no e-brake, though. That's not okay. That's unacceptable. Demolition Derby time. Celestia's greatest pony in the world. I got some rookies over here. How bad is this gonna hurt? This is gonna suck ass. Yeah? I'm spot for the Omega race truck. Every yeah. derby in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the same thing the way the truck race went. Yeah. I'm a fucking spotter. <laughs> really? Uh, well, is this your first derby? Yeah. Have fun. That's the game plan. Good luck.
jump on the brakes there. Ah, oh, payback time, my friend. I found that one. That one hurt. Woo!
That hurt a lot. My seat bent. Oh, well, congrats to Johnny. Looks like I got second. Well, folks, the demolition derby is done, and Tommy, I can officially say I am in more pain than I have ever been in. I'm not laughing at you because no, of the pain. I think you, okay. I'm just laughing because everybody, including me, after that night of racing, especially that demolition derby, mm -hmm. didn't know if you were dead or alive. I don't think I did either. That's true. Folks, there's some explanation that needs to go, go into this... Uh, this demolition derby. Now, there were a couple things that took place in this demolition derby, like I said, that needs some serious clarification. Now, the first thing I'd like to hit on is eight of us came out to the track. No, nah, let me clarify. Seven of us came Seven. out to start the, the demolition derby. The green flag flew, and you notice all of a sudden the red flag came out. And they had the car that we had Ryan Partridge race all of a sudden show up with another driver we know, Andrew Porter. Typically, when a demolition derby starts, the last thing you're going to do is put let someone join in after it started. Yeah. It's a very strange thing. It works with a lot of other racing, just not demolition derbies. Not derby. demolition derbies, for obvious reasons. Well, that car came out, and I think we all had the same mindset of, oh, hell no. Yeah. And we all went after him first. That car got knocked out immediately. Non-issue. But during this demolition derby, there were some big hits. I know Shayla got knocked out early. She finished sixth in this in the Scootaloo car. Uh, she took some big hits. Her and Johnny just, what is it between those two? Those two love each other out there on that track. I, yeah, a little bit too much. Uh -huh. But, folks, what you may have seen happen to me is something that I, I can say is something I never anticipated could happen in a demolition derby and definitely opened my eyes as far as, you know, as safe as we try to prepare these things, there's always a chance for something dangerous to happen. Mm -hmm. What happened in this demolition derby that you'll notice is that I took a hard hit. I saw Adam Ditto lined up on the K-Rail. And knowing Adam, I know that he's someone that if I have a chance to knock him out, I need to take it then. Yeah, he does play possum very well. Yes, so. he does. He was up against the K-Rail, and I said, you are not leaving that K-Rail, my friend. I mashed the gas as hard as I could. I broke both of his front axles in this hit and my seat. That's the one that hurt. When my seat broke, now what happened was when my seat broke, the K, or excuse me, not K-Rail, the, uh, the T-Bone bar that was installed was installed too low. And what happened was because of the torque of my body, I ended up bending it over and I felt it. I, you see me right after the hit, I'm like, God, mm -hmm. that hurt. But I couldn't think of why. I thought maybe because I hit him up against K-Rail, I'm like, maybe it was the wall hit. Something happened there that I've never felt before, but uh, all right, time to continue. I kind of pulled up the track, and then I took another hit. And that is when I realized something's wrong. And at some point, I, I connected the dots and went, my seat broke. I was feeling it, and I'm like, you my... Felt that you were feeling the spreader it, bar. Well, I, yeah, it didn't help them. I'm like, why is my seat... <laughs> going back. Why am I reclined? Now, what happened going into all this is that I noticed that my seat was in kind of a funky position when I got in the car. And usually what we do is we'll set the seats before we put the T-Bone bar in. Because we didn't do that, I readjusted the seat, and it wasn't fully, I think, up against the T-Bone bar. And I think that's partially what it was, was it had room to slam backwards and bend over, which usually is a good thing. Bending over. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> so once I realized my seat's broken, I pulled it over the side, not off the track, but I kind of pulled it to the side 
just assessing like, what the hell do I do now? Mm-hmm. Smart thing would have been to just pull it off the track. You live and you learn. I didn't do that, and I heard Johnny coming and coming quick. Folks, the most logical thing I could think of when I saw him coming, I knew it was going to hurt. I just kind of positioned myself and hit the gas to push my car into his. That hit, I couldn't move for a few seconds because yeah. I was in so much pain. And that's what everybody saw yeah. was your pain. The, the, first, the first hit, the one where the second of the uh, broken seat hits, you see me kind of like, oh, and I, I, that was me catching my breath. This one, I couldn't move until the point where I forced myself to move because I knew if I didn't, they were going to stop this derby because yeah. they probably thought I had just died uh-huh. because literally I was not moving. And yeah. I knew I was aware I was awake the whole time, but I'm like, I got to move. Like I, that thought went through my head. So much pain. And I was just at that point, Tommy, I was like. I, it's funny because, again, the natural thought process should have been, you think, pull it off. I look back and I'm like, God damn it, there's two cars left in this demolition <laughs> derby. And I realize at this point, I cannot take a hit on my roof. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, need, I need to only do front end hits at this point. That's the only way I'm going to s- literally survive, not yeah. my car, mm-hmm. that I'm going to survive. Again, pull off the damn track. Why didn't I? <laughs> Folks, you live and you learn. Got a, you got a neighbor. I, got a I did not want this car to ever have an opportunity to see the track again. Yeah. At this point, it wasn't about winning a demolition derby, folks. At this point, it was about me killing the Celestia. You car. know, because it's the car's fault for breaking Derby back. It's, it's the car's <laughs> fault. And you know what? Down with Celestia at this point, folks. Down with Celestia. So, I drive my car as hard as I can into Johnny. We're slamming into things. We're we're driving into each other. At this point, I've probably pissed him off. I know I've already pissed off Adam by knocking him out, but but I'm in pain, Tommy. We still have another event to go, and I'm having to ask myself, can yeah. I get out of this car? Mm-hmm. My back is completely bruised. I and don't know if I've done anything more to it. And, of course, the next event is a trailer race, so it's not going to be an easy walk in the park. Yeah, so uh, this was by far the most dangerous situation I've ever been in. Uh, this was the most pain I've ever received from one of these events. And it was very much an eye-opener because directly following this event when I talked with you, I I told you, I said, this may have been my last demolition derby I'll yeah. ever do. Mm-hmm. And whether or not it is will remain to be seen. But as far as that goes, I mean, I'm, I'm barely walking around the yeah, pit he area. Was, he was pretty much not walking. The only thing that kept me going during the event was the adrenaline. Yeah. And and once adrenaline wears off, that's when you really feel these these injuries. And this is the first time I can legitimately call something an injury. Uh, and, you know, of all things, it's my back. That's and something you never, never want to mess around with. As far as hindsight goes, the second that I hit Adam and that I felt that pain, I can understand why I stayed on the track at that yeah. point. But when I figured out the seat broke, I should have pulled off. But again, I think it was it was a mixture of adrenaline, being pissed off at the fact that my seat broke, yeah. and being in pain that was somehow driving me to keep going. Yeah, it was weird. And and you know, like I said, you live and you learn. It's definitely a situation that first off, I think we learned some about the T-bone bars. But yeah. but yeah, just a, a long explanation to some I felt needed explaining. Night of destruction, and it there's is. still one event what to go. Yep. Am I gonna make it to the trailer race? I guess we're gonna see. But folks, that one is coming up next. I have to somehow find a way to walk all the way off the pits or off the track into the pits. I'm going to be like old man Jenkins. Oh my God. So, folks, next up is 